Hi guys and welcome to 123MyIT's tutorial on how to restore iPhone uh, firmware. Ok guys, so I've had a few people ask me how to uh, actually restore the iPhone firmware. Well, what we're going to do today is we're going to test it on the iPhone 3G phone. Um, and what we do is we actually run our iTunes icon. Ok. Let's click agree. That, that comes up. If your iPhone's plugged in, what you need to do is just click on iPhone. We don't want to download the, the new <coughs> part, the new update. Okay, and you can actually just, if you've got your restore iPhone, you can actually just click on that. However, what if you want to change or, or try uh, restoring your iPhone with an IPS file? What you can actually do is I've set up on my web page uh, a bunch of the Apple direct Apple downloads where you can actually download the um, IPS files from their uh, website address 123myit.com Go to my page there and in the menu at the top of the page if you click on iPhone and then click on the iPhone firmware page Okay, and if you scroll down, it's actually like a comprehensive list um, of firmware that you can download IPS files and just download them for your model um, of iPhone. So today we've got a old uh, 3G iPhone. So if we're going to go to the latest version for the 3G, which is this version here, 4.2.1 3G. And if you click on that, now in Internet Explorer, it will actually come up as a zip file. So if you go Save As, and then at the at the last part there where it's got zip file, if you change that to IPSW, okay, and then you can just um, you can just save it there, put it in Downloads. All right, and that will actually do it. Now the benefit of doing this this uh, through the website through my website guys is um, these are all the direct Apple uh, download links so if you see in the bottom right hand corner there it's actually coming from the apple.com website okay so um, you know it's, it's it's not actually stored or uh, on it on my um, my web page at all it's just literally a link to help you out um, the benefit of this obviously is that it's a, a legit uh, download so it hasn't been tampered with or anything comes straight from the Apple website um, so you don't need to worry about anything like that okay so <coughs> I've already actually downloaded the iPhone file and here it is here okay and then we're going to open up iTunes alright and if you go into your iPhone which is this one here that I've got okay and what we're going to do is we're actually going to press the shift key on your keyboard and then click on restore iPhone okay and what that allows you to do is actually select the file from the desktop so this is the one that I've downloaded previously from my website click on that click open alright it says iTunes will erase and restore your iPhone to 4.2.1 and we'll verify this with the Apple with verify the restore with Apple okay so we're just going to go restore Hold that off to the side there. You should see it all. get the Apple slider bar here okay so it doesn't really do too much um, summary just says 
iTunes is restoring the Apple software on this iPhone and it just says preparing and then your slider bar on the Apple will slowly move across ok so I might just um, pause the video uh, while that goes through and then I'll, I'll start the video again when uh, something a bit more exciting happens ok guys so if you can see the phone there now and this is restoring the firmware iTunes in the background and then should finish up in a couple of minutes just keep it running for the time being just to show you what happens at the end there so we don't miss it um, but if it gets a bit boring in the video you can always just fast forward the video Hopefully it won't take that much longer. Getting close to the end there. and we're just about done ok so if you see there it says if your iPhone has been restored to factory settings and is restarting please leave your iPhone connected it will appear in iTunes window after it restarts <coughs> let's see what it does now see it restarting there, probably applying all the firmware that it's just uploaded <coughs> there we go See the iPhone then coming up just over here. There we go, iPhone. Accessing iTunes Store. Congratulations, your iPhone has been unlocked to set up and sync this iPhone. Click continue. <coughs> Okay, waiting activation. Welcome to your new iPhone. Click 
continue. Sync in progress. Alright, and there you have it. So that's what shows you in here. One, two, three, my T's iPhone. The iOS is 4.2.1. Uh, it will automatically check up update again on the 15th of the 6th, 2013. And that's pretty much it, guys. So that's how you restore the iPhone uh, from scratch by using the IPSW files. Okay, alright, so if, uh, if this was helpful guys, please leave a thumbs up, and if you have any questions or any feedback, please leave them on the website. Cheers guys, bye bye.